All right, based on that one, we'll go first give you this very first hot story. We consign this lecturer. And the things where they happen for inside our higher institution. Now people don't they come out, they clamor, say a lot of other schools need to follow up with this kind of one and do a similar um, a, a similar scenario or a similar investigation. Also, even as that one they share, we don't they hear now, say for inside Amado Bello University, it be like say something similar, be also share for that one, but we're gonna give you that gist as the story they go. Right about now, we they hear say senior lecturer for inside the University of Lagos, Akoka. Uh, they call him Dr. Boniface uh, Igbenegu. They say they don't cash on top tape. This one not be said, then say, then don't say. Video, we get audio. They also did for there. Uh, they say maybe they make uh, some kind of advances to one student, quote unquote, where they seek admission into the school. Now, according to what they talk, they say Dr. Boniface, uh, where they teach for the Faculty of Arts, then be cash on after one reporter where they work with the British Broadcasting Corporation, a.k.a. BBC, she become outside do undercover runs. That one means she come outside as an undercover student, a, a prospective student where they find admission into the University of Lagos. Now, the reporter, according to the information over here, she actually walk her, go meet this lecturer for help on how to gain admission into, this, um, into the university. Now, Dr. Boniface will be former sub-dean for inside the Faculty of Arts, be invite him. So you need to come to my office. You need to come for tutorials. I need to teach you certain things that you need to know so that when you won't get this admission, you go there seamless, quote unquote. And according to waiting the um, um waiting call happen, they say finally she can't there, can't actually honor the invitation. And when they ask her my age, uh, the man, she talks that she'd be 70 years. The man can't look and can't say, 70 years of age. You be like person we don't pass 70 years. But um anyway. Yeah, very beautiful gay, according to what he come as I talk. Uh, he come, she, he come as I talk, say, you know how old I be? Can you take a quick guess? The woman there, what the young lady, the 17 year old lady, we just look at me and say, well, I am in my 50s. And not only am I in my 50s, I am also a pastor. Hmm. He say, you know, say, even for my age now, that's what the man they talk about. I know they try to replay the scenario for you, make yourself you get an idea of how the drama takes Shelley in case you not actually see the video. In come come outside talk, say, you know waiting. You know, say at this age where I did, even that day for my 50s, any girl where I want, any girl of any age, even your age, self will be 17. If I want to get the girl, it is very easy to get that girl. He say, if you look at he say, all I could just do now say, uh, I could just I could just uh, check the girl, psych calm, they tell her sweet, sweet things, come put money for her hand. He said, with that one, <laughs> they say money for hand, not back for gram. And so they come outside, they talk him, and they talk him with so much confidence. Uh, he come outside, come talk, say, he, uh, and all this one way they talk, you know, they say, come right there for that. They record everything. Later, Dr. Boniface pray with these students, as according to Ramin talk, say, I am leading her to Christ. <laughs> for inside this clip, or this video clip, what they talk about, so 13 full minutes, oh, not be saying a two minute clip. When you see that for them, you can tell them about one particular place where inside that Unilag, especially the Unilag staff club, what they call cold room. Instead of inside the lecturers, did they sleep with this female student? In return, say this female student they will get higher score for inside um, the exam or the course where that particular lecturer they take. Now the student, when if they try to talk, say, ah, that cold room, I'm not sure you what's happen for them. The girl say, ah, no. So I think I understand. I said, no, make I show you. Off that light for inside the room, inside our office here. Off them. Come closer. Might just give you small mwah, even if it's just for one minute, and uh, to show you what's in the shell for inside the cold room. And the girl say, ah, say no, Oga. Ah, doctor, it is wrong. Go. It don't make sense. So mm -hmm. then the lecturer at all and say, see, eh, if you won't get admission inside this university, you need to be obedient. You need to you need to listen to everything way at the talk. You must do them. Obedience is very key. Now, so you come outside, talk them. Uh, he, can, he still can't try to do some other things. Uh, when the girl, when if they try to hold the girl, say, maybe the girl call me one shot, wait till they share for the cold room. Then the girl, the girl, they try to resist. After a while, the girl says she won't go use toilet. Uh, she can't go, can't come out. The man, you try to start to yap, I'm saying, they do like small picking. Why you need like a small, stop it. I do like a small girl. Ah, ah. Come closer. Um, but uh, the video clip there for there, and 
people, a lot of people see the clip and see waiting, uh, waiting go down for inside the lecturer office that particular time. And they make people they wonder. Um, people come outside. In fact, for the comment section, I personally had to go and do a little investigating. For inside the comment section, you go see where a lot of students or people, quote unquote, um, they actually come out. They call names of some other lecturers for some other faculties, for different schools, where they actually come outside. Um, they do a lot of this kind of sexual harassment on top female students for inside the school. Whether or not the ones where even already don't gain admission for inside the school, or whether or not the one where they seek admission, or whether not even the one we don't finish um, first degree, they try to do second degree. Different scenarios and different kind of stories, um, they come outside just because of that video clip where BBC do based with an um, undercover um, co uh, employ employee for inside the organization. Now, we don't bring and come your domo and say, yes, people, they come outside and talk, say, this kind of thing not supposed to happen for our universities or for our higher institution or even for the educational sector or any workforce um, for that matter. Some people, they talk, say, a normal thing, say, the thing happen. So what's the big deal? Say so they happen every day, even after this one come outside. More will still happen. Lecturers or whosoever want to involve will still be fully involved. Now, not forgetting the saga where we happened a few um, a few months back or a few uh, over a year right now um, of um, a particular lecturer and the students talking about sexual harassment, where the lecturer has to come outside deny them. And based on that one, um, some people talk say they need to inst um, they need to install CCTV cameras all across um, strategic places for inside universities. Now, we're asking you this morning, so what do you think about this scenario in terms of the way forward? People, they come outside, talk, so not be a new thing. So should we just sit down, fold our, ham, our arms, and say, let it continue? While some people, they talk, say, why are we clamoring about it now? When we know it don't happen for so long. Some people, they do shock. They say they never ever hear them before. But people, they come outside, they talk, what thing we need to do to avoid situations like this? Because not be only female students, nine they sexually harassed. Don't get it wrong. We also have the male students, we also they sexually harassed as well. And uh, at this point in time, people don't they fear. Because if you say you want to now, you want to do the right thing, the right thing will come be like, say, you know, go fit, move forward in terms of doing the right thing, which is saying no to this sexual advancement. Some other lecturers, they talk, say, ah, say now they just sit down on their own. No. They don't force anybody. They don't ask any girl. They don't talk to anybody. Say, now nah, then they can't put, rub their body on top of their own. Now nah, then they can't force them, and then do anything they don't want to do. Say, no, no, they go meet any girl, no, they toast any girl. Now nah, girls or the female students, they actually come meet them, uh, come cajole them. If it's not with sex, if it's with money. If it's not in kind, it's in cash. And the new now where they get, now nah, the cash. If it's not in kind, uh, cash, it's in kind. Or the new one, where they call, now nah, cash, which is a merging of both cash and kind. Um, feel free to check your mouth on top of this one because we WhatsApp machine day there for you to actually tell us what thing you think we fit to do, the solution. Because now, even some of those lecturers where they do this kind of badness, some of them go sit up. Some of them then go ask, hope you don't have a camera on your body as I enter in my office. Uh, and, but uh, this one, I just to check me them just for now. We need a permanent solution. We go make sure, say, these lecturers, uh, even if they need to have a physical access to this um, student, it go be limited. It could be limited so that this kind of badness or this kind of thing will not go to hear them too often. Because now I saw and not be a good thing for us to actually hear of this kind of scenarios for inside our higher institution. But what's up, machine there? Just don't forget to tell us your name and your location where you actually send us this message. If you get a similar scenario, please let us know the story so that we self go know waiting the update could be on top of them. After the balance I had of entertainment, now with that full video clip where you don't see an investigation where BBC be do with one of their undercover employee, we actually on the um, we actually go University of um, Lagos and um, pose as as a student seeking for admission into the university uh, with one of the lecturers will be the sub dean for inside the Faculty of Art. Now Dr. Boniface with that, and uh, that was a conversation that um, went on between two of them. Now, not be only University of Lagos, maybe BBC Wakago, they also Wakago, um, the University of Ghana as well. And this one, they make a lot of people, they come out, um, they come out, they talk, saying a lot of things. Um, and I get a lot of comments right now on top with WhatsApp machine. Make I just read one or two before we move on. But for you, we will also check them out on top. Um, you feel, say, at this point in time, we need a permanent solution on top the sexual harassment we cut across a lot of universities for Nigeria. 
Or you also feel, say, well, not be the lecturers their fault. Uh, girls are training themselves at this lecturer. So, of course, why not um, enjoy it while it lasts? Um, you know, while I'm not forgetting, it'll be only the female student that actually go through the sexual harassment. We also have the male student where they actually go through the sexual harassment. But in this case, now the young girl, now be the case study on top of Or you feel, say, sex for grades as... The documentary talk um, um that the way where people they use and it has become a norm in our society. Um, one or two comments we get on top of WhatsApp machine. Yusuf, if you want to come out, just let us know your name and the location where you actually send this message from. And if you get a similar scenario as well, feel free to let us know. Um, the WhatsApp machine is 0809-032-1452. Now on top of the WhatsApp machine this morning, um, we get all the we get um um Tunde from Ikorodu. He said the students are also to blame for the for this act. The only few that seem that are not comfortable with this are the ones where they work hard. He said the lazy ones, but then they offer themselves to these lecturers. Now, so you come outside talk. Um, we also get another comment for you. You come outside talk, so you're not going to blame the lecturers because now waiting most girls want to make their, for their exams and their admission. It's not they blame them at all at all. He says some girls they pay for them. He says some go graduate. They know if you talk common English because they, they graduate as Ill, as um, um, illiterate. Now, so you come outside talk. Um, so many messages still they coming, but keep your messages coming in while we give you some of the stories we we get um, for inside the news this morning. Now, still uh, the, um, in line with sexual harassment. We don't hear now. So the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission don't welcome the sacking of 15 or the sacked 15 staff and demotion of one of the academic staff by the Amado Bello University for Inside Zaria on the account of conduct we gather around corruption and even sexual harassment. Now, inside one statement, will be signed by, by Babatunde uh, Irukera, will be the chief executive officer of FCPPC. In commerce and sham on top of the official Twitter handle. And the commission talks say the action of the school it not result from investigation. We don't show say these particular staff members, not them, where they uh, were they guilty of the offenses, and these offenses they against the rule of the university. Now, according to waiting they talk, he said this kind of con uh, conduct it affect the entire community. It even diminish scholarship and it get negative impact on court, on top academic outcome in a manner where they against the rights of the target of the behavior, uh, where they, they, they violate the right of the target of the behavior, and they also victimize others where actually they vulnerable. Now, according to Ramin, say this is inappropriate behavior. If they do it, if they lower the quality and validity of education, and if they question the credibility of educational outcome. Now, so you come outside, talk. Uh, he used to come outside, encourage the authority of AB, UAB, Amado Bele University. So when they continue to investigate in other cases, uh, other cases where they don't hear about, is any church or church where they hear, may the commission say they carry them out to confirm the information on top of them. Then the government agency also encourage other educational institutions, say make them follow them in terms of sexual harassment, uh, say make them pursue aggressive and open initiative uh, to fight this harassment and corruption nationwide. Now, ABU, before inside September, then be sacked 15 lecturers for offenses where they do, where they bothered around sexual harassment, negli uh, negligence of duty, and corruption as well. Now, we're going to bring you more updates because you know, see, when it comes to sexual harassment for inside the higher institution, not really Nigeria already affected. It happens all over the world. Now, just the level with which they happen, now they differ. For some places, it is ranked so high, and for some places, it's ranked so low. Moving on from there, still on top of the academic calendar, we don't hear now say about 200,000 out of the 1.8 million people will write the 2019 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, and they don't gain admission so far into the universities. And this one, according to the Joint Admission and the Matriculation Board, we come outside here on this one on Friday. Now, the board for inside one mill, where they sent to correspond and talk, say the tertiary institution and other stakeholders, they still they work they do serious work around the clock to make sure say, they meet the deadline where they be done agree on doing by the last meeting uh, on top of the 2019 policy meeting where they be get. Now, for inside the meeting, policy meeting where they be get, uh, for inside Oshun State for June, then we all agree with the stakeholders who say admission process into the tertiary institution say they need to finish them on or before December 19 of 2019. This one are for public universities. Meanwhile, for the private university, they say it must not surpass 
February 15 of 2020. So for public universities, they say that December 19 of this year will be 2019, while for private university, they say on or before February 15 of 2020 will be next year. <clears throat> Now they say if they look, the number of candidates will actually come outside and write this jam between April 11 and April 17 across 698 computer-based test center for the 36 states, plus including the Federal Capital Territory for Abuja. They said the candidate number, there were at least 1.8 million candidates. And according to the head of uh, media for JAM, Dr. Fabian, don't come outside talk. He come outside talk, say, they send the electronic mail to, um, to the media correspondent on Friday, and they come outside talk, say, out of this 1.8 million, we actually come outside, write the exam. They say about 200,000. That's a little below 15% of the population will write the exam, and they actually offer admission to. And they say in common side, they'll see the ginger or the candidates. Um, so maybe they start to they register for the national identity number. You know, what you come outside talk. And you say anybody where they parade and say they get question for 2020 jam, you say maybe they report them to the nearest nearest police station or to the board's office. Yeah, now so in common side, yeah, and based on the admission and um, the exam. And people say they complain about um, um, certain results where they never still release up till date. But of course, um, JAM and other stakeholders as they talk, they work around the clock to make sure, say, they do um, in the best of the interest of all stakeholders involved. Moving on from there, we'll be talking about a merger and acquisition will be the share left for inside federal government. Right now, the state federal government will approve the mass redeployment of senior government officials across the ministries, departments, and even agencies. And this one, now to do it, now to reposition the civil service for better and more efficient delivery. Now, they say a total of 254 top government officials, who if they check them based on their salary grade level, they say that from salary grade level 15 to salary grade level 17. Now, they're affected for inside this exercise. Now, they say if any work away on salary grade level 17, not director. Any work away on sal salary grade level 16, not deputy director. And anybody where they're on salary grade level 15, now assistant director. Now, according to the circular where they write and based on October 4th, where they write the date, they say this mass deployment, uh, they say this mass deployment, so they don't do so. Now, one of the ways where they want to make sure, say, effectivity, they for inside the system. Now, the circular will be signed by the director will oversee the office of the permanent secretary, Mrs. A.I. Atta. On behalf of the acting head of the service, um, the civil service of the Federation will be Dr. Folashade Yemieson. They say the MACAM, according to the MACAM, they give them that now the number, they say number. Now, according to waiting, they're waiting, um, she writes, they say, I don't, they don't direct me now to convey the approval of the acting head of service, civil service of the Federation for the re redeployment of newly promoted and existing um, salary grade level 15 to 17 directorate level officer under the pool of the office of the head of civil service of the Federation. He said, anybody will not comply. Well, they don't tell you, say, okay, they don't redeploy you, you know, one work can go that place. It's a heavy, heavy sanction day in line with the relevant civil service rule. Now, so you come outside talk. He said, if they look, if they wait for the posting instruction, just go download that from the website where they don't give. Anybody where they come with hard copy, eh? They say you go submit them for documentation. And anybody who come with hard copy for documentation, he said they need to verify them with the one where they for website. They even give deadline where all of them, where they're affected, need to move on. They say, oh no, before Friday, October 11 of 2019, everybody, suppose, don't do what they need to do to make sure, say, uh, the system, if they work out well, everybody move fine, everybody don't settle for the site where they don't put them on top. Uh -huh. So, of course, more updates go to Shelley in, on, as the story they unfold. Moving on from there, we get this other story. We consign um, the Nigerian police. Uh, because right now, some people, they clamor. So, we need state police. Some other people, they say, hmm, how well reformed. Is a police service where they talk of state policing or even local um, government policing. They say, Claire, we could be Saguru Maraji, we come outside appeal to the federal government, say we need to establish local and state government police for inside the country. If we talk this one for news conference uh, for inside the Guru Maraji village for Iju for Lagos. In talk, say uh, <clears throat> the step where they want to do. Even though we know say it go help to improve properties of uh, help secure properties of lives. 
properties and lives for inside the country. He said, if you look at also from the other side, it could help also help on top of the level of unemployment we did for inside the country. Yeah, according to Ram, he talks, say, this country, so we get the ability eh, to pay police recruits attractive salary if they manage the money we will get and the other resources we will get if they manage and where. He say, we even give entry level salary of 250,000 uh, for police recruits. And this money safe, he also they but he also they inside this money now the accommodation where they go stay. He say according to the advice where they give oh, he say make the recruits them that and people they, they employ into the police service or the police force. He say make them teach them how to speak English, Yoruba, Hausa, and even French. According to waiting, this uh, cleric don't come outside talk. He say if you look at he says some other ideas where they too now say make the police force safe and get their own police farm so that them too feed the farm and produce their own food by themselves so that from there they feel later go into other areas like fashion designing, shoemaking, and others so that them too go day sufficient for themselves. He said, All we need now to search for raw materials and we get them. He said, Make each police station also get enough moto and buses to carry out the duty. He said, if you look at them now, we could know they do a uh, recruitment into police force by fe federal character, by religion, by tribe, or by state. He said, we could not use any of those ones. So they do recruitment. Now, person where they're capable now we need at this point in time. Now, so you talk. Uh, he talks to the police chef. They need about seven crime control jets. Yeah? And he said, for each state, each state supposed to get about 300 quick jump start moto. So that if anything won't happen, pian, 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 where they talk, look for a battery to uh, say battery don't die, tire don't less. He said, no, 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 no. If we get some kind of jump start motor, where they undergo, he said, all of this one go help the police force um, to carry out their duties better, and Nigerians go feel see the benefit and see the good work where police force they actually do. We're going to bring you more updates, <laughs> looking at the advice where the cleric don't come outside give. And um, who actually consider them and how well and we could be effective now? Question with some other people they come outside, they ask. Uh, but of course, uh, now, they, now waiting they don't come outside talk, it's there for the government to do what they need to do. Moving on from there, we don't come outside, they hear another story, uh, the very last one we'll get for today. Now, it concerns the National Human Rights Commission, because right now, according to Mr. Tony um, Ojuku, will be the executive secretary on top of the National Human Rights Commission, in that call, say we need to activate. It they call for the activation of human rights funds as it they contain for inside the National Human Rights Commission Act of 1995, where they still come amend for the year 2010. Now, Ojuku will become as I talk this one for inside Abuja based on one interview with the news agency of Nigeria. It talks say the money, aside from the program where they support for the commission, it they also help to deliver progress in different kind of areas. He talks say it will help to strengthen the coordination uh, that uh, the collabo between the commission and the human rights NGOs where they work across different different areas them in the commerce side they emphasize on protecting the rights of minorities and that uh, people where never reach the age for them to protect themselves and even vulnerable persons and in particular in call out the women and the girls. He said, because all this one now, the, a lot of NGOs or, uh, or the NHRC, you know, go fit to protect these people with inside this category, if funding, you no, know, they are available for them. According to what he talk, he said, we they call on the government to look on how these funds, they go fit to reactivate them. Uh, he said, the great, greatest instrument to protect human rights, now for people themselves to know their rights, so that when anybody won't violate their rights, they say if you complain and if you get better assistance, on top of the matter. Now the second the executive secretary in commerce I talk say the commission no 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 they do like say they no no say challenges day. It's and they no say challenges day uh, but now how to move forward and implement the NHRC Act where they actually do for 1995 and they don't amend them for, for 2012 now be the way forward where they come outside they look. These are some of the stories we will get in the news today. Um, don't forget our top story we concerning the university lecturer. We don't come out the way we, people that actually they don't see the video. We still don't play the video for you on top of um, how in they try in best to secure admission for this allegedly 17-year-old girl will be undercover employee of um, BBC. Now, we they ask you, so it's going be the way forward at this point in time. Yes, some people, they come outside, they talk, say, um, the, some of these girls actually want them, especially the lazy girls or the lazy students, because also women, uh, men, they're affected as well. Some people, they talk, say, now the lazy students, right, they actually clamor 
say they actually give them their body out or they even pay for their grades. Some other people they come outside, they talk, say, at this point in time, it's not new and it's a normal thing. I then make we move on. It will still happen again. While some other people they in shock. Some other people they clamor say we need to create something. If not to put camera somewhere, if not to find strategic locations, or if not to give advice on how to stop this menace for inside our community. And we they asking you this morning, say, what do you feel be the way forward? What do you think say be the solution? Permanent solution. If it be short term, if it be long term, but we need solution to curb this menace with the shell for inside our society. Look at bass bass more break by the time we come back. We're gonna read your comments on top of WhatsApp machine will be 0809 032 one four five two. The next bus stop now, Papa Jojo, because he has to give us waiting consign. Our well buddy, stay with us. Good morning, sir. I do well, my boy, boy. A caro and your money, yeah. Oh, to tomorrow, there were no Jama. Ndi why? In our coin, Uncle Nigeria, or to tell money in the Nigeria. Oh, no, watch a high name. Kuna Kalo. So make you the listen, make you the watch every time on top of Zobia TV. Make you the watch. Good morning, Niger and the Prince. Now it's okay. Yes, then gradually you just the strike to come up to your straight stand. Then you hold. Then before you go even continue, after when you don't extend to carry your stand to the ground, where you're going to move, then you balance up yourself. But anyway, is the way my own name is Papa Jojo, and I say good morning, Nigeria, to my people. You are welcome to Good Morning Nigeria Fitness Squad. My own name is Papa Jojo again at the talk camp. This morning, what I just said for now, now I'm. Tightener, arm femur, arms femur. So this morning, if you don't get waiting or you bought my record dumbbell, what I hold for my hand, just get your bottle water, fill them with water or you fill them with sand. They will let you feel the weight more. So flow. Eh? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now this one I want KG. And to you when you get your bottle water, it's equivalent to your five C health. So as you follow up, by time with a switch, even though you don't still get any one of your 150 CL, just try at least meet up the standard. And make sure say, you don't cheat yourself and follow up according to how you need to follow up so that it will be according to how it's supposed to be. Two, three, four, and five. Then you go down to switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, one, two. Three, four, five. You need to chest out. Six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, then one. No, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. You change your direction. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, get one, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight, up, one, like that, you extend, gradually you go, L shape, L shape, back to I shape, then L shape, to V shape, then cup over, back to V shape, then L shape, then L, I, two, three, four, five, now the heart pressure, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, and four. At least, even with this one, when you will do, at least your hand will feel and say yes. You do the best and you do justice to get back your good health. Anyway, is the way. My own name not changed. Twally, I go talk. Papa Jojo. On top was Sobia Mas. Until next time, I come your way, stay blessed and have a good day. We pray that today, as we even go out to come back, Papa God will bless our life. Me, 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 me. Twally, see you until another time. Bye. Two, three, four, five. All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balance Diet of Entertainment this morning. Now, if you check your go go, you go see say the sentimental level now, it is hot, it is blow red uh, because a lot of people don't provoke on top. This top story we don't put on top of our burner. And I still read on a trend since yesterday talking about Dr. Boniface, who will be subbed in for inside the Faculty of Art. Um, right now, uh, based on the video clip we don't see, based on an investigative reporter from one of the media houses, we don't come outside, um, act as a 17 year old student, um, prospective students when they try seek admission into the University of Lagos and we don't see the video and hear a lot of things where the man don't actually talk and this man don't claim say he's in his 50s um, and say himself now pastor and uh, say she, the lady has to be very obedient and he also be try uh, show and waiting they happen in a particular particular place for inside the staff club um, the upper part of the staff club where they call aka the cold room um, of course um, this video don't do viral right now and um, as at the time of the report too, uh, where they try reach out uh, from where they talk as at the time of the report they say the university of lagos spokesman will be taiwo oloye they come outside don't tell um, the news corporation say in, they get zero tolerance for such behavior uh, and also uh, they say he never responds to the inquiries from one of the media houses in terms of the print media houses on waiting the on waiting the institution go do based on this allegation and the evidence where they don't get on ground. Uh, not forgetting, say, former lecturer for inside the Obafemi Obafo Awolowo University, Professor Richard Akindele, he'll be losing job and they'll be prosecuted for demanding sex from a postgraduate student of the school. Now we get a lot of messages on top of WhatsApp machine. I go try my best to read as many as I can, but uh, keep sending in your messages because we will still get time again to read the messages. Um, all right, we get... Um, we get David, you, you they come outside, they talk, say, it they happen where, where, for inside my school, for Delta State Polytechnic. And I saw you don't come outside, talk, thank you so much for your message. Now, uh, you say your name now, Idris, and I'm from Abuja. You say this issue of sexual harassment in school, if they finally stop them, it go help us so that we will only get the serious students when they graduate from our universities as against the graduates where we now get. We're not even they employable. 
Now, so you don't come outside um, the talk. Um, we also get Max and Joy from Lagos. You come outside talk, say, I, I feel say this kind of thing, you know, they are bound to happen. But the important thing, you know, say, if it happen in two ways, either now the lecturer, they make the advances, or now the students, they make the advances. He say, now, nah, lecturers uh, do this thing, thinking, saying, and they're smart. And students, they do them because they want game mark. You say, even if they put CCTV cameras for specific places, these same lecturers go make arrangements outside school. You say, well, according to you, come outside talk, say, I feel when things like this happen, they should be publicly disgraced, both students and lecturer. Thank you so much for that um, message. Um, uh, you will get another one. You say your name now, Kenneth from Lagos. Uh, you say now, both male and female students, nine day affected. Uh, you say the students are mostly to blame for the sex for grade issue. Thank you so much. I'll be careful uh, shift your message, but thank you so much for sending in that message. We also get um, another one. You know, tell us your name or your location. I'm sorry to say this, but seriously, most of the grade ladies graduate from graduate with from higher institution, you know, they're based on their performance. Meanwhile, if you still look and based on the labor market, they say it's still be like saying that the ladies now is today more favored. Um, all right, you talk to your name now, Big Sam from um, Big Sam, you don't actually send us a message. You say, I think, I think this lecturer should be used as a scapegoat to teach others a lesson, a big lesson. Now, so you come as I talk. Thank you so much. Um, we get another message, Samuel from Lagos. You say, this is what the Nigerian government should have done for a long time, thanks to BBC. But they say, in actual sense, it they happen for all institution. Whether on a public or whether on a private institution, no, you say, say they happen. Uh, you come as I talk, say, media continue to do their investigate on top of the matter. Um, all right, we also get you for here. You talk, say, you know, if you blame female students, too, but not the lecturers. Any lecturer with them cash, me, they give them five years jail term. Thank you so much. We get Charles from Anambra State. You come as I talk, say, going by the video. My worry, I say the lady in question be they play along with the lecturer. Mm. Well, you see, assuming the first way she come, she not turn down the advancement, then this one, no, this one no for Shelley, you know, for reach the level where you reach. Thank you so much, Charles, for that message. Um, we get um, um, Dulcie J from Kotonu. You see, I'm very disappointed in our educational system in Africa, to be honest. The truth is that some lazy students are actually the authors that then they write this book on top sex for grades and the non-lazy beautiful ones they also suffer for the consequences thank you so much for that message um we also get another message from here you say your name now pastor yema from ikurudu he said nigerian government know they listen to people's opinion where they state um, po um policing now the best interest now because of waiting they happen for Obodo, for we obodo ninja me and they support them uh, talking about policing thank you for that message. All right, um, just keep your messages coming in. What do you think? And right now, people, they ask for the solution. Yes, we know the problem. Would they see them? If it be from the lecturer side, if it be from the student side, we know say male students are also affected in this as well. That number would also bring them into the picture. But we need solution. How we feel to stop them? What we feel to do to reduce them, even if we know if we stop them, which you come by? How we fit to make a permanent solution where go they workable and it cuts across all the educational system um, for inside our country so that people go fit go school with confidence and people go fit graduate to defend their certificate knowing fully well so not be runs they used to do them. We're going to pass more break right now. We're getting used top of the hour. After the news, we still get other things going on the show and your messages, we go read them out as they come. Stay with us. All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balance Ahead of Teletainment this morning. And now, um, of course, the show don't finally come to a close, unfortunately. But we'll get updates for you now. The story about um, Dr. Boniface for inside the Unilag matter and um, the 17-year-old undercover um, employee for inside BBC. We don't get updates now. See, for as we speak now, the cold room, when we come outside, talk about, they actually closed down um, that part of the staff club. And the man himself, Dr. Boniface, they say they don't suspend them now while investigating still they happen on top of the matter now we get a lot of comments from um, all everybody on top of whatsapp whatsapp is on fire as we speak now we get um, a course from delta state you said this story they call sex for grades not eat into our system i sincerely believe so this one a very good step from the reporter uh, if we follow them up it will help our educational system i get friends from delta state university where they serve extra year for inside school and this extra year now punishment for rejecting the advancement of a lecturer. He said the lecturers even get confidence and nothing will do them because almost all of them they involved. So who go report who in terms of the lecturer? 
Thank you so much. I wish the time day for us to read all the messages on top. Um, um, but don't forget, if you still, still work on top social media, let's keep the conversation going on top social media. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.